Hey, what's up, YouTube fellow artists and aspiring artists? Incline here. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about stencils, freehand shields. What's the difference? What are they? How can they be used? Um, I wanted to show, like, here's a sound wave I just completed. And if you'll notice, he has, like, a comic style uh, cell shading effect. Um, but it's a little more soft than if they were taped hard edges. Uh, which you can achieve the hard edge with stencils, but um, I wanted to discuss a little further about what those are in case you guys um, don't really know. Now there's a difference between a freehand shield and stencil. Um, a stencil is like these right here. You know, you got your like a puzzle piece, the, uh, what is this one called? The Blob. It's craziness. Um, got some snake scale, some snake dragon skin scales. Um, and you know, just some random other stuff. There's a whole bunch. Uh, check out coastairbrush.com. Uh, you can look through all of the stencils that they have. I mean, huge, huge amount on there. Now these you don't just want to spray this on a surface with your airbrush and leave it. What this is, is for a background and what you have to do is you go in and you fill this in. Uh, so you spray it, it creates a pattern, then you go in with your airbrush and you detail it and create shade and stuff. So when you're done with all of this, you'll get a three-dimensional like, texture. These are really good for backgrounds. Um, the freehand shields, however, are meant for nothing more than that. Shields, basically to protect a spot where you don't want to paint. So, like for instance here with the sound wave, you know, while I'm airbrushing, I, okay, like right here, I'm spraying the, the shading. So I'll hold it right here and then airbrush along the top of it, which creates that nice effect there. So, you know, you have all kinds of shape. You know, you have curves, you know, more curves, more curves. Uh, this is part of a fire set that you can create, you know, fire and stuff with. Um, then there's these awesome ones I picked up uh, recently, thanks to Iwata. Um, these are the texture effects, which are really awesome. If you're airbrushing and you don't have these, get them. I just picked them up because um, I found out how awesome they were. There's a lot of stuff you can do with them. Um, so there, yeah, there's your basic introduction to the difference between stencils and freehand shields. If you guys would like to see me demonstrate these, uh, please comment below. Uh, that's what I'm going to start doing with my YouTube channel is... Um, some quick little tutorials on airbrushing and custom painting. Um, also, leave some ideas about what other videos you would like to see as far as airbrushing goes. Um, you can check out my other free videos, and if you haven't yet, if there's any questions about how to custom paint Transformers or action figures, be sure to check out Full Figure Repaint and Metal Mayhem that's coming up. So if you want to get some stencils, if all your supplies you need, go and check out CoastAirbrush.com. They have a lot of cool stuff. Um, and the best prices on the web. So thanks for checking out the video, and have fun creating.